My brother molested me. And what else? He made me suck his dick and then when I got it out, he made me turn over so he can fuck me. Thanks, bro. Fix. Dustin shit. Tune into my man Nazi Wine. You know what I'm saying? Dustin shit. You know how we doing it, man? Good game. You know who we at, bro, bro? Good game. What's poppin', bro? Fix. Your boy, man. Real shit. I said I was digging the trash. Somebody stopped digging the trash. My thing is this. I'm homeless. I got no underwear. I got no socks. So when did you become homeless? About six months ago. Six months ago. So you've been traveling with the same uh, belongings this whole time. You never had no other pair of clothing? No. Right there. Also, man, take this, take this money. Okay, I see. I see that you bring teddy bears out the house with you while you're outside. Yeah. That's crazy. Why do you bring teddy bears outside? I love my teddy bears. You love your teddy bears? Have you been loving teddy bears since a kid? Yeah. Can I ask you? Uh, that, well, that's dope. Cause I got favorite things that I love and, and that I keep with me and that I hold. And I just want to tell you, God bless. And I also want to know, uh, how old are you? 49, I'll be 50 April 29. You a tourist? Yeah. I'm a tourist too. Ah, yeah. oh, we tourist gang. Tourist gang. Tourist gang. Get your brownie points for that. You loyal. Yeah. So you a loyal guy, right? Yeah. Okay, I understand. I see what's going on. So, uh, can I ask you, and I want you to be honest, uh, what's your life story? Uh, what you, what have you been through? When I was younger, my brother molested me, shot me in the butt with a BB gun. So when you, so when you was younger, your brother molested you. Yeah. Can you repeat that? Hold on. I want you. I'm gonna wait till the motorcycle go by, cause I really wanna have a serious conversation with you, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna take care of you too for this story. Okay. Uh, okay. So can you, can you explain that again? When you were younger, what? My brother molested me. And what else? He made me suck his dick and then when I got it out, he made me turn over so he can fuck me. So your brother made you suck his his situation? He made you suck his dick? Yeah. I, so I know, so you deal with a lot of hard shit? Yeah. How do you deal with the pain? Like, how do you cope with it? It ain't easy, bro. Do you, do you, do you, do you think about therapy? Or you don't feel like, that's, like that will help? That will help. You don't think therapy will help? No. How old was you when that happened? I, I, like, I really feel sorry about that. And and uh, even me recording this, like, I'm getting emotional. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little emotional about that. I'm going to be real with you. Because, like, you're a good guy, man. And uh, how old did you say you was again? About 14, 15. You about 14, 15? Yeah. And then I smoke weed. Huh? It made me smoke weed. So that's why you smoke weed now? No, because of him. Just because of him? It's hard to quit, man. Can I ask you what happened to your brother? Is he still alive? No, he died. Was it Was it due to what happened with you? I think it's black lots. Huh? Black lots. Blood clots. How old no, was he? It was he, I think he was 50 something. Listen, I just want to tell you, I really apologize for what happened to you. Uh, and I also want to tell you, uh, I'm going to pray for you. I also want to tell you that I love you. You hear me? I love you too. Bro. I love you. Like, I know I'm out here and I'm doing videos and shit like that. And uh, my purpose is just to show the world what's going on and what's happening inside my city right now, man. And uh, I'm really hurt about that. I'm going to be honest. I'm hurt about that so much, man. Because, like, just to hear about something like that, knowing what your brother did to you, that hurt me. Uh, I'm going I'm probably one or two more questions. Uh, are you dealing? Are you dealing with any conditions after that? Like, are you dealing with anything? Nah. Or was you diagnosed with anything? Nah. They say I'm paranoid to the party, but I never got paranoid to the party ever in my life. The medication don't do nothing for me. Say that. Say, can you say it louder? The medication. I'm not paranoid to the party. I never got paranoid in my life. I hope the Lord take care of me when I take care of the life, man. I love you, brother, okay? I love you. Okay, can you give your name? Lorenzo Parkway. P A R Q U E R. Alright, Lorenzo, I love you, man. I'm sorry for your loss, man. And like I promised. Okay, you got off camera. Alright, Lorenzo.
Thank you, Lorenzo. I appreciate love you, okay? Women, All right, thank you, Lorenzo. I love you, okay? Again. Too, Keep our city, man. Look at our streets. Look at everything that's going on. Look at all this trash. That's how they keep it, man. That's where you at, man. We're in Frankfurt and Kensington, man. That's how they look, man. Both sides. All right, how you doing? What's your name? Shadir Barsia Wilson. Shadir Barsia Wilson. All right, Shadir Wilson. I just seen you right there, man. Uh, I seen you got some nice clothes that was inside there that you picked out. No, I didn't. All I gave was these bags. Oh, all you did was get the bag? All I have is the clothes on my back. Why did you take the clothes out of the bag? Because he said don't go to the bags, but I, I clean for people. I wipe down my I'm homeless. Uh, everything I own is in this car. Everything I own is in this car. I don't see no clothes in there. I don't have none. So you don't have none, no clothes? I got no underwear. I got no socks. So uh, when did you become homeless? About six months ago. Six months ago. So you've been traveling with the same uh, belongings this whole time? You never had no other pair of clothing? No. So you so you haven't been able to wash, shower, or nothing? Look at my hands. I write poetry. You write poetry. I wrote six thousand poems in the last twelve years. So you, so you're very, very intelligent. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't want nobody to be in my place. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a poem. It's, it's my autobiography about my life. It's called My Smile Just a Mask. Okay. And I usually don't do this, but I really want you to listen to this poem because you're gonna relate to some of this poem. As I say, it's somewhere between sadness and happiness. I consider being a blessed state to be more or less. That you more blessed, not experience none of the above. How the fuck I know hatred if I never knew love? But in between the two is space for spectators. But in between the floors, I'm emotional elevator. If I go up, I spare a lot of pain. If I go down, I'd be hurt as if I lost my game. Mm -hmm. But every time people see me, I joke and make them laugh. Shh, please don't let my smile is just a mask. How can people feel you today and fear you tomorrow? Or try to hear you today, but then become the only a sorrow. Maybe if I don't love, I would never learn to hate. Maybe if I destroy, it's a trying to create. I live a life with acceptance, but I'm gonna take your problems in the world with acceptance. So when my animals be a single be tamed. When life is a game. When we gonna realize we all sisters and brothers. When we gonna start to appreciate one another. But every time people see me, I joke and make them laugh. I really think they forgot that my smile is just a mask. So maybe these things can begin with us, as we open minded and one both trust. Not being concerned whether it's a female or male. So we slip as a team, then we all fail. But even though to you, the poem might sound strange. Deep. But I found my soulmate, my girlfriend in his pain. But every time people see me, I joke and make them laugh. Shh, please say you that my smile is just a mask. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. That's enough footage, man. That's this is my guy, my right here, man. Uh, he's homeless. Uh, you see you see what happened with my guy, man. I asked you guys to be able to donate, man, so I could be able to help uh, provide for the community, man. These is the reasons, man. He is the reason why I want to help the community. I got this bigger shirt, too. So, uh, I do want to... Uh, usually, I record stuff like this, but I was, I've been making a vlog. So, that's why I have a ship shirt. Uh, this was one of my work shirts I never wore. It. It's clean. Uh, this would be perfect. Uh, I, I love you guys, man. I appreciate you guys for watching my vlog, man. God Stay bless. tuned. God bless. Stay tuned. Y'all know who it is, y'all know what I'm saying? Oh, FKD money bags, y'all know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm rolling up and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get y'all a little scope view of the, uh, of the life and how it was, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know damn near all the players out here, and I'm not into, like, telling on myself, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? You, you, Niggas gotta feed their family and niggas is stuck in their trenches. Never niggas don't got work histories or nothing out here. So they resort to the streets. Facts. And it's sad. It's and that's sad what's going on. on. Man, yeah, it's sad because so, you know what I'm saying? So, so how long you been in this area? Man, I've been in this area about fifteen years and shit. You know, I'm just a north nigga rep in Frankfurt, you know. Shout Absolutely. out to Coogee, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Frankfurt native and nigga, north nigga, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. Absolutely. You know so 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 do you feel like do you feel like being in this environment made you a product of the environment it yeah made you it did it did because when i think about it like now you know what i'm saying once you got i got years in doing the same shit and shit that i'm still stuck in the same place you know what right. I'm saying? Just, but you definitely gonna go up bro because yeah, i see yeah, for I, sure, for sure, from for me sure. seeing you bro you somebody that's consistent mm -hmm. And, and you be stepping, so yeah, but being consistent right. can, can be your downfall when you're in the streets. You feel me? Oh, absolutely. Being consistent, absolutely. nigga, know your every step, every mm -hmm. move, know you out there, know what's going on, and you got cops watching. They know who you is, your name ringing. It's shit bad, man. So what like, you feel like the what you feel like the next step uh, for you for you and your life? I'm gonna keep it a bean. Next step for me, y'all you know I mean, is take off to the sky.
You know Absolutely right. Take That's what I'm trying to do right now with this channel. And get off the streets, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Clothing, you know what I'm saying? Designer shit, you know what I'm saying? We working on clothing now and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You got it on. Everyday shit, you know what I'm running around shit. You know how that shit go, man. You know, what's going on, fellas? Frank for native shit, man. You know how that shit go. So you planning on starting a business, right? So you said clothing line. Clothing line. All types of Because a lot of times. Anything you can think of, I'm planning on getting down with. A lot of times, you know, when you're living in a hood, sometimes, like, people will make your product because you're surrounded by people that's exactly. doing the same thing as you. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. See, see, for instance, I had a man I went to school with and shit like that. Smartest yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying niggas, we used to cheat off with. Facts. Reason why I got my high school diploma. Mm -hmm. But the whole thing was, he ain't go to college. Absolutely. He could have went to college and right. shit, scholarships smart. and shit like that. But he wanted to be running around with us, in the streets. getting in the streets, and that's what happened. Guns and all types of shit. You know who? It Remember, is. uh, what's his name from North Philly, the basketball player Come for on, me? Man, so many, man. You know we got all the talent in this. Beyonce, there was a lot of people right now, man, that, that was taking off and turned to the streets, and it slowed them down a little bit when it came mm -hmm. to sports. I see mm -hmm. so many people, like even me, I was a Sports star. I was a football star. Right. You feel me? I played in uh three all star games. This shit don't uh, stop, man. This I, was, shit don't I was on my way up. This shit don't stop. That's why it's hard to get out, man. Yeah, it is. Shit, shit, certain numbers. You uh -huh. can't turn them. <laughs> fuck you want me to do? <laughs> What's up, yeah, bro, bro? What's good? What's good? Uh, you can get your name. Man, my name Cash, man. Let him you know. I'm from know. West, but you know, I'll be up here at Frankfurt, you know, this where I do my thing, you know, just trying to stay out the way, you know, be cool, get money. As we should, you know. Absolutely. A, lot, a lot of niggas want some real shit. A lot of niggas really need to get out that shit as far as like walk around with a mad face, bro. Put a smile on your face. Absolutely, you know? bro. Put a smile and get to some cash, bro. Get to some cash because it's out here. Mm -hmm. It's out here. And that's like like you just said. I just want to touch back on what you said. When a lot of people are not coming around with a smile on their face. Yeah. This yeah. waking up, you should be happy. Like exactly. Yeah. Everybody yeah, don't get a exactly. second chance, you know man. And people don't understand you, that's you, important. You be seeing everybody, you mean with a with a with a. You mean they be looking all crazy and all that shit. They don't be that serious, bro. Mm -hmm. Really don't be that serious, bro. At the end of the day, you feel me? Keep that smile on your face. Keep your head up and keep striving in what you want. You no matter what you going through. No matter what you want. No matter what you want. Even if you in the streets, bro. I'm gonna tell you this, you don't just take, oh, so most motherfuckers be like, fuck it. Even if you're a robber, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Keep your mask down. Stop running on camera with your, your face all out, looking, staring at shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you gonna do it, go hard. Get a suit. Dress up as a bitch. Yeah, because I said it. Do it right way. If you gonna do it, do it the right way. So yeah, you have jeopardy. Don't, no don't, don't do it a little bit. Go all the way in. you think, oh, I'm bull, I can't be touched. You start showing your face, jamming shit. That's when you get picked up. Absolutely. If you're smart niggas, the niggas don't even know. Nigga be his cousin. Old time, nigga, cousin serial killer. Facts, yeah. Nigga never get caught. Are you right, nigga, bro? Nigga, cold turkey. Mm -hmm. Everybody think he cold turkey. Old time, soon 12 o'clock hit. Freeze come out at night. Mm -hmm. Nigga dress right up. No, right. No, no. Fact, old fact, man fact. came with a, with a big ass pistol on him. You, uh, right? you won't know. That's why I don't judge nobody. You feel me? Because anybody out here can be able to hurt you or do something to you and be the uh, ones you least yeah. expect. So that's that's why sometimes you do have to move morally, integrity, and right. just know who you are. Yeah. And if something comes to you, that's when you basically approach that situation. But this is what I do want to ask you, bro. So I, I know you said you grew up in West. How yeah. you make like how you make yourself uh, over in Frankfurt? Like who are your folks over here? Where's the uh, you related to cousins, friends? Yeah, right, well right here, this is all family right here. All you family, know, all, all, right here on Oxford. You know we got the best gas definitely out here. It's all my cousins, all my uncles out here. I came out here like 20, 2018 mm -hmm. and just start doing my thing, staying out the way, getting money, you know, doing, doing, doing as a young nigga should, bro. Yep. You yeah. was probably the first, like when I first came around here, bro, you was probably the first person that uh, I really did talk to when I first moved around here. Right. You feel me? It was just more so like on some pass by here and there, this and the third, yeah, you feel but, me? So but I, you knew it was all genuine love, yeah, I, like yeah, it, yeah. it wasn't on no... I mean, energy. It was all genuine love. It was all You know what it is? Love, it's energy though. When I came up here though... I realize a lot of niggas that's out here getting to the same shit I'm getting into. So niggas just released. We all start clicking up. Right. We all start clicking up. This shit's just been cool vibes since then. That's their right there. That's how you create a family. Cool Sometimes then, man. family ain't always blood. It's the ones that's just close to you the most. Real shit. Real shit. Definitely fuck with me because we fuck with the music too. I yep. be making beats. You know, I'm about to start rapping and all that shit. You mean Mike Mike dot PB on Instagram. I mean, I'm about to start going hard. Yeah. Definitely. I just need some encouragement. Well, I believe in you, bro. I mean, I definitely need encouragement, but I'm going to get that shit done. 
I believe in you, bro, and I'm backing it, you feel no, me? Definitely, bro. I'm backing it, gang. Sure, bro. I appreciate it. No effects, bro, but we're going to continue this vlog, y'all, tomorrow, man. We're going to come back with part two, man. For sure. We was able to get a little clip on what was going on with the life we in Frankfurt, man, right now, man. Sure. It's the homeland right now. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, we out. I've been that nigga, pockets they blow, something like the ocean Pacific. You hating on me, fuck how you feeling, as long as it come from a distance.